So guys, I wanted to do a quick video on the Rye Playland. Uh, <clears throat> it's basically a map and guide. And the reason why I'm doing this is Rye Playland is... It's an amusement park that's owned by the government. It's owned by the county of Westchester. And there's always this thing that... Um, every year they keep saying this may be the last year and it's closing down. And this has been going on for a long time. This... Um, place was closing down, and it's not, and somebody comes in to try to take it over, but this is 2015, this is the map that they're giving out this year, and <clears throat> if you've never been there, you should come here. If you're in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, uh, Connecticut, you definitely want to take a trip here, it's not bad, um, it's one of the, it's a, it's a very unique amusement park. It is an amusement park. This is where they filmed the movie Big. Mariah Carey's done music videos here. There's like celebrities that come here that live in the Westchester, Connecticut area. They always stop by here. I talked about it in my other video. <clears throat> and it's one of these unique, unique places. And this is a map. They give this to you when you come into the park. And... <coughs> Excuse me. This is a layout of the park. Um, this is the, I believe this is the Dragon Coaster. This is, uh, it's it's a famous roller coaster. It's a famous roller coaster because it's been featured in music videos and movies. And that's why it's it's a very famous roller coaster. Um, and it's actually very fun. It's pretty fun. Um, this is kind of how the park is laid out. Um, let me see where we are. Okay, so... This is kind of like your entrance of the park. Uh, this is the boardwalk. And this is right along the Long Island Sound. This place, this looks fabulous. If you've ever been here, you could do fishing here. There's a lot of things that go on here. And this kind of goes all the way around. But over in this area is where there's a beach. There's a pool. Um, uh, and then there's just, you know, all like odds, odd and even type things here. There's like a museum over here. There might be something else that's over in this way. Um, this is the area kind of where you go in. There's like a restaurant here. There's a restaurant over here. Now, this is an ice rink. If I remember correctly, I believe the New York Rangers either practice here or the Islanders. One of the major hockey, um, one of the major hockey uh, teams from New York used to actually practice somewhere in here or, or practice in here or they... Did something in this ice rink. This is the ice rink that you can go and play hockey in. They do a lot of games and stuff in this ice rink. Um, and over here, there's a restaurant that is uh, very good. This is a mini golf place. Uh, <clears throat> it's okay. It's a, you know you definitely can have fun in here. It's a good mini golf course. Um, and then you would kind of this is one of the entrances where you would go in here. And it's just it's it's very very cool. Um, in this area, there's all adult rides. Not adult, you know, rides for adults and, and teens. Um, and it's fun. And then this is actually another... This is a huge Ferris wheel. Uh, I don't even know what the name of it is, but it's a huge Ferris wheel. Uh, and it is... Oh, yeah, the gondola wheel. That's what it's called. Okay, I'm looking at the numbers. I'm going to pan over to... this. The key kind of tells you what all of these... Uh, rides are now what Playland has, which is very unique, <clears throat> is they have a an exceptional Kitty Land ride. So if you have kids, this is where you want to go. It is fabulous. Now I've been to the Jersey Shore, and this is just as good as any Jersey Shore uh, boardwalk. Is any Ocean City or, or Wildwood or um, Point Pleasant, this this is just as good, if not better. Um, there's a train. They have a bunch of different rides in this area right over here. <clears throat> and <clears throat> the only thing that they're lacking, what happened to Ride Playland is they have private vendors that would do things like candy apples and chocolates and things like that. And some of the rents here became very high. And the vendors that were here couldn't, I guess they weren't making money, they couldn't afford to. And it kind of became a thing, a thing of the, the the rent was high enough that they tried to negotiate with the with the town, or the park, or the government, or whoever's running it, 
And they basically said, in, in, instead of giving you a, re, a reduced rate in rent, we'd rather just not have anything there. So some of these, like, you'll have, like, maybe a shop and, and games, and then this place would be closed. And then you have a shop, and this place would be closed. And it's been, it's been like that for a couple of years, where a few of these places, are actually, they just shut down. There's nothing in there. And, and the park would rather have it shut down and make no money than make any than make anything. They just shut it down. Um, they want whatever the rent is, which is which is high. This, they also have two very good arcades here. If you like old school arcades or like pinball machines and um, you know Miss Pac-Man and stuff like that, there's two of them here that are very good. There's like one over here and then there's one down like this way. They also do live concerts. This is a stage and it's a setup. Excuse me again. And this is a stage and it's a setup over here and you actually have a uh they do concerts and sometimes they have big name uh usually in the summer they have like one or two big name artists like you know pretty decent known type artists that come and perform here and this whole thing is just filled up with people watching over here on the stage um and then back here's another part where it says the lake they do things here like boat rides and paddle boats and stuff like here, back uh, over here, which is a lot of fun. There's a picnic area over here. There's a couple of picnic areas. And then if you go up this way, <clears throat> there's like a bird sanctuary. <clears throat> and um, that's like a separate part of the park. But it's very, very cool. Definitely go and check this out. Like I said, if you haven't been here, you definitely should visit or see it at least once. Definitely should see it at least once. Take your kids. Like I said, the the, uh, the Kitty Land is fabulous, and and the rides for the adults and the teens are are very good too. You know, they got like a haunted house and you know stuff like that. You're gonna have a good time there. And this is the map that they give you. And um, this is kind of like pictures of what is it? Playland facts. Um, they say Playland, America's first totally planned amusement park, opened in 1928, which I believe, I guess the the town or planned it or the government planned it, New York State must have planned it, but this is what they give you. They also give you a sticker. If you're in New York, you'll see these stickers. These are stickers that people either put on their bumpers or they put on telephone poles You'll find them in bathrooms. I found these stickers in the weirdest places. Places that you wouldn't expect them. Just uh, bathroom stalls or the, or the back of a, of, a, of a bar. Or just you know places where you wouldn't find a Playland sticker. People just take these and just stick them places. And it's a play, it's, it's just a you know big Playland sticker. I think it's supposed to be a bumper sticker. But they wind up in other odd places. So this is it. I wanted to share this with you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Playland is very cool. Go check it out. And I'll talk to you guys soon, alright? Like and subscribe, and have a great week. Alright, bye-bye.